Selecting a vehicle is the first step towards your overland adventure. We break down the key criteria for you to select the right vehicle. We will also tell you the changes we've made to make Mochi even more ready for a trip around the world. The right vehicle. This is the first chapter of our new series where we tell you how we prepare for the trip of our life. There are many different kinds of vehicles out there. Bicycles, motorcycles, 4x4 SUVs, pickup trucks, expedition vehicles, camper vans or normal vans like ours. To get a nice overview of all these different kinds of vehicles, we was going to a 4x4 exhibition. To be more precise, we was going to Bad Kissingen, which is the biggest of its kind. While there was a lot of vehicles that we really fell in love with, the most limiting factor is your budget. So sit down and make your calculation, because an expensive vehicle means less money for your trip. Choosing a vehicle known for its reliability and durability is another important factor. This often results in higher prices for the vehicle. So used cars are an option. All the models are often even more reliable because they are built more simply. For example, our 1986 Mercedes is equipped with one of the most reliable engines ever produced and its counterparts are still in use around the world. Choosing between diesel and petrol engine is a matter of personal preferences. Both options are widely available and common. However, it's important to know that some diesel engines can have problems with diesel fuel quality in some countries. To reduce the risk of fuel shortage, you may also want to consider a larger fuel tank to increase range when traveling long distances. Overlander often pick SUVs because they are easier to drive than big trucks. But SUVs don't have a lot of space for things to live in. Big trucks or vans, however, can hold more stuff like spare parts, water, fuel, batteries, clothes and food because they can carry heavier loads. While you don't absolutely need these extra things, they do make the trip more comfortable. Everyone has different likes such as wanting a toilet in a big van or a shovel for the SUV. For us, being able to stand up inside the van is really important, especially when it's raining and we need to stay inside. In order to be better prepared for an off-road adventure, we have made several modifications to our van. The list is not exhaustive and we plan to purchase additional equipment. For comfort in both cold and hot climate, we add 5 cm of isolation to the interior and we install a 2 kW heater. We painted our van with a more resistant PU paint to withstand the forces of nature. We have raised the vehicle a few centimeters and plan to fit larger tires to increase the ground clearance. Even the Mercedes T1 is already quite high. And we will be adding a larger full tank to increase the driving distance. So now you have learned the key things to consider when choosing an overland vehicle. Remember, a vehicle is just a way of transport and doesn't define the adventure at all. In the next video, we will dive into planning our route and deciding which continent to visit first. So you see, super exciting things are ahead. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to not miss out in any future episode. Woo!